Hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman. I'm just making this video for the free accounting software users to show you guys how to correct errors in single touch parallel lodgements. So um, I've done this lodgement and as in the previous um, video, it's come back with this um, some payslips have er errors message. So not all the payslips have an error and there is no error at this level. Okay. Uh, in that case, the batch status goes to lodge complete, uh, and so the ATO has accepted this lodgement. Now, um, it gives you there some suggestions as three ways to fix this. Um, in fact, uh, one thing I forgot to point out in the um, um, previous video is that. Um, um, in the previous video, I uh, made an error which actually made these figures here wrong. Um, it's, they were still overall positive and that's why it got accepted. So um, in that case, and that's what I did in that video, I think the best way to correct it is option two, which is to amend the lodgement. Because whilst this page here was um, uh, passing the validation rules, it actually wasn't correct. So in that case, you would choose option two. Now, um, in this video, I'm gonna show you option one, and this is a scenario where option one is a appropriate way to fix it. Okay. Um, so if we go to the transactions and sorry, just to read out what option one is, it is to send an update for the rejected pay slip. Okay. So, um, we are not going to amend this lodgement. We're going to just do a second, lodgement to send the corrected information. So going to the transactions, um, we can see that this is the payslip that has an error because in the STP error column it says error. And if I double click on it, um, it'll say what the error is. So what it's saying is pay cessation date must be provided when the cessation reason code is is provided. Um, so scrolling down to the pay event info, you can see what I've done here. Cessation type code is V. However, there is no employment end date. Okay, so um, let's go and correct that. So going to the employee setup in the payroll details, here we can see that the cessation type says voluntary cessation, um, but there is no end date there. So th that's inconsistent. Um, either field could be wrong, perhaps this should be blank, or perhaps there should be um, an end date in here. So let me just put an end date in and then save that. Now, we want to send the, um, well, let's say we want to send the um, um, updated information to the ATO. In this case, it's probably um, a good idea um, to do that. Um, so I'll just explain why. Um, so if we go to the STP Lodge page, um, it gives you a few options on how to correct it. And one is to send an update, um, or three is just correct the errors and get it right next time. Well, that's probably not appropriate because this employee has ceased um, and 
it's not going to get paid. Um, so we want us to number one and send an update for the rejected payslip. So going to transactions, uh, or actually back to the batch list, we need to do this update as a, a, a separate batch. So go new batch, and um, uh, I'm just going to pick this date. So the update event is just advising the ATO of the um, details at a point in time. It's not relating to a pay period. It's just saying at this point in time, this is the correct information. Um, Okay, so then um, we go to transactions, new pay slip. Select the employee. Now there is no payment happening on this pay slip. This is just sending the um, updated information. So I'm going to delete that line. Now I just want to point out that, like on the batch setup. The date is the 17th of July, uh, and the pay period start and end date is 17th of July. So this is just the information as at that point in time. If we scroll down the pay event info, we can see that this employment end date is now set over there, and the cessation type code is still there. Um, given that the employee um, finished, you might want to finalize this um, um, pay um, and set this final pay to yes anyway that's not so much about what I'm trying to demonstrate in this video but um, you know you can you can do that here because there won't be any further pays okay saving that and then going back to the STP lodge page Select the machine credential, and put in the password, and in this case, because there is no payments happening, we're just updating the ATO, we're not lodging. Um, so click the update button, it goes through the same process, um, and will take 68 seconds to. Um, before the software goes and polls the ATO for the response. Um, anyway, um, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, I put these videos on YouTube, um, and so I think I'm supposed to say something like, um, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, uh, which I haven't been saying on these videos. Um, but um, you know, if you are watching it on YouTube versus watching it on my website, um, you could do that, and then you'll be notified when new videos are um, put up there.